Guys, it's official. Electric bikes are taking over. It feels like we're getting new builds, new brands on the weekly basis and I can barely keep up. I mean, look how many bikes we have in HQ right now and it continues to grow. However, there is one electric bike that has stood the test of time. One that has always and forever probably will be my favorite electric bike of all the offerings we have here at Electroheads. It's the Astali E28. This bike truly is special for us. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Coming up in this video, I make or lose 300 pounds. I'm gonna bet you 300 pounds. Interrogate the team. Why are you filming us? And an Electrohead visits the studio. But first, let's take a look at the E28 spec. What is a really big selling point for this bike is the fact that it's pretty inconspicuous for it to be electric. Of course, there is that lovely electric bolt on the side there, but if you're just looking at it as its form, it's not obvious because the battery is hidden in the down tube right here. So the range is pretty decent on this as well. When I range tested this, I got 35 miles and that was on the max assist level five. Of course, you can get more range if you do go down on the assist. I find level three is actually a perfect amount. The battery is Samsung cells. So it is a 10 amp hour, 36 volt battery, which gives you 375 watt hours. If you look at the frame, obviously, despite the very cool color, this is aluminum, so it's very durable and it's also pretty lightweight. So this weighs in at 16.5 kg. So for someone like myself who lives up three flights of stairs, it's very, very easy to get up and down. I don't fatigue as much as you would think. So if you do live in a flat, you do live on upper levels, this is a really good option as well. The weight of it also means that it's not a massive lump to push forward, especially if you are not using the assist. So say, heaven forbid, you run out of range, which rarely happens, you are gonna be able to pedal this still without the assist. And that is also thanks to the eight speed gears that you have on this bike too, which makes also tackling hills and just more inclines and hillier terrain super, super easy as well. We actually did a video riding bikes up a hill, a London hill in Greenwich, which you can check out right here. So you can see how the Astali fed. You might have noticed as well, there's a little black bobbin right here. This, my friends, is front suspension. It does cost an extra 100 quid to chuck it on the E28, but I genuinely recommend this as a non-negotiable if you were to buy this bike. Having that little bit of suspension at the front just to soak up the bumps and the potholes in the road, it makes such a difference. You've also got these 28 inch wheels as well, which really means great stability on the road. So if you're not very well versed with cycling, if you're new to electric bikes, or if you just want to have some better stability, I'm not the most stable rider in the world. I find 28 inch is the perfect size. Editor, I know what you're gonna do now, don't you dare. That's what she said. <laughs> Looks like we found ourselves another member. Get your ass over here. Well, I mean, hold your horses. I mean, safety first, brother. Hey, Queen, I got another member for you. <laughs> The Astali E28 was the first electric bike that we added onto our online store, which was back in September 22. So if you didn't know much about the marketplace that we now have, then make sure to check this video right here where we explain everything as to why we went from just being YouTube content creators into becoming an online store selling bikes that we love and want to represent. Part of the service that we offer is making sure that you lot at home can come in to the studio, visit us, check out the bikes in the metal, take them for a test ride. So we've actually got a guy, Richard, he's coming in today. He's coming from Margate to test ride this bad boy. So let's see what he thinks. Hi. Hey, hey man. Hey, the man I see. Do you want to go outside and give yeah, it a test okay. ride? Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Nice one. I'm excited for you to try it. In fact, I'll, I'll show you around. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. have you ridden an electric bike before? Yeah. Cool. A couple of weeks ago. Great. Um, but it was oh, it's trying to come in. You've got your lovely integrated yeah. display, so it shows you your speed, your battery, yeah. and your assist. So okay, these cool. buttons right here basically yeah. is what changes the assist. Level five is obviously the most. Okay. One is the least. Yeah, yeah. I just suggest if you've ridden an electric bike before, just start just, with level five. Yeah. 
let that assist take you. You've got your gears over here as okay. well. Well, right. yeah, well, look, just, just give us a call when you're done. All right, cheers. We'll do. We'll come and chat with you. All right, yeah. Enjoy. And he's off. I'm going to bet you £300, right? You, every single person in the audience, that he is going to buy that bike. That's how confident I am. Drop the, I was going to drop the helmet, like drop the mic, but actually, you know, safety first, everyone. Um, right, Richard, what did you think? I really enjoyed it. It was good fun. Uh, it was all going really well. It handles like a bike. The electric motor just helps assist it. Did have a little bit of a drag race with a scooter, which was, uh, yeah, Ooh. a bit fun. Bit what, fun. electric scooter? Uh, petrol. petrol. So, you know, even better. Yeah, I think it's a super bike. I like the fact it's incognito in that, you know, it looks like a classic bicycle, so it's not a risk of uh, potentially being nicked. Um, yeah, I would definitely consider it. A big part of the marketplace becoming what it is today is down to a group of people in this studio that have made it happen. So I actually want to go talk to some of the guys. Oh, one of them's actually on the phone right now. That man is always talking. He's doing business. He's going to ask someone else. Mr Moore, yeah. would you be happy to speak to me on camera quickly? Uh, no. <laughs> This Starly E28, right? Yes. I'm gassing it up today because yeah. it means a lot to us. One reason is because obviously it was one of the first electric bikes. It was the first electric bike on the store. It was, and it's pretty blooming good. Can you remember when we first put it on, like what space we were in, where we were at as electric heads at that time? I can, yes. We had been doing the YouTube channels and the other social media channels for a while and all the brands were coming back to us and going, we love what you're doing, you're really helping us increase our brand exposure, why don't you help us start trying to sell the product as well? Mm -hmm. So we've got a really good relationship with Estarly through creating content for them, so they were the first ones that we did the proof of concept on the marketplace with, and the E28 was the first product we actually managed to try and work out ourselves to get a listing on. Why are you filming this? Freeney. Best seller on the store, First which of bike? All, Barrett, the name's Matthew. Astali, easily the best selling brand we've got on the marketplace at the moment. Um, fantastic British brand, awesome products. Um, I'm a E16 guy, which is the tiny little folder with the small wheels, which I completely love. Uh, E20s, E28s, um, I think all of them sell like hotcakes at the moment. And what's brilliant about Astali is amazing customer service. Uh, they genuinely, genuinely look after anyone who buys their bikes. and. We're really happy to have them as a partner. So yeah, big up Istali and uh, find them on electroheads.com. <laughs> this is actually nuts. I've just been going through my Insta DMs and someone has just messaged me to say that they're going to get the Istali E28. This is just, it's just Istali E28 madness, guys. There's a reason for it. The great thing about Istali is if you are in the UK, they are a British brand. They build and manufacture the bikes here in the UK, so it just means that if you do have any issues down the line, if you need us to help you sort them out, then Astali are literally a stone's throw away. So that's always a really big plus. So their customer service, like we were saying before, is brilliant. They are just a great brand. They're lovely people. They're making amazing bikes. I feel like we've kind of evolved with Astali as they have as well. Like we have been growing and the online store has been just getting better and better thanks to you guys at home believing in us and what we're trying to do. And Astali have been evolving in terms of they've been creating new bikes, new models. In fact, there is a new electric bike from Astali, which we are really excited about, which is a version of the E28. It is the Trapeze. Now, the only difference with this one is the fact that there is a step through frame. So that just means that it is super accessible. It means that more people are able to jump on a bike without needing to worry about kicking their leg over. And that is what we need, accessibility and bikes for all. Check it out. It's not online just yet. It is coming very soon and we will definitely be doing a review once it is available properly. So keep your eyes peeled for that. As ever, if you are interested in checking out any other electric bikes or electric scooters on the store, then make sure to head on over to electroheads.com. It would be amazing if you did. It just means that you're supporting us and we're able to keep doing what we're doing. Oh. It's Starly E28, changed the game for us. I can't wait to see where we are. A year from now, the progress that we've made in less than a year has been incredible and I'm super excited for the future because I've got a wicked team behind me and also I've got a wicked, wicked bunch of viewers supporting us. So um, thank you, everyone. Should we say goodbye, guys? Bye.
Bye, wicked viewers. <laughs>